Agnatha is a superclass of jawless fish in the phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, consisting of both present and extinct species. This group excludes all vertebrates with jaws. The Agnathas as a whole are paraphyletic, descended from a common evolutionary ancestor. The oldest fossil Agnathas appeared in the Cambrian, and two groups still survive today, the lampreys and the hagfish comprising about 120 species in total. Hagfish are considered members of the subphylum because they secondarily lost vertebrae. In the absence of jaws, modern agnathas are characterized by absence of paired fins, the presence of a nodal cord, and with seven or more paired gill pouches. Fertilization and development are both external with no parental care in the agnatha class. All living and most extinct agnatha don't have any identifiable stomach or any appendages. The agnatha are, are cold-blooded with a cartilaginous skeleton and the heart contains two chambers. As you can see here in a lamprey's anatomy diagram, the lamprey has a small opening at the top of its head responsible for detecting scents. Then there is the brain responsible for the body slash organs coordination and connects to the spinal cord. The brain also has an extension located behind a nostril and above the brain. It controls awake slash sleep patterns, seasonal functions, and triggers metamorphic phases from the larvae to the parasitic organism. Below the brain, we can find the notochord, intended for support of the body, located below the sp spinal cord. Come after the notochord, the esophagus, and the vellum. The vellum is a two-valve pump located between the mouth and respiratory tube. The respiratory tube is located inside the gills, functioning as lungs, carrying oxygen into the body. Next to the respiratory tube is the heart and the sinus venous, which is responsible for much production to filter out debris located below the arteries. Alongside the heart is also the liver, responsible for breaking down consumed food it is also connected to and located under the intestine. The intestine is a digestive passage from the esophagus to the anus, which absorbs nutrients from its food. Located at the end of the body, behind the liver and intestine, is the ovary, the reproduction organ re responsible for producing eggs or sperm. Finally, there is a myotoma, a muscular layer directly below the skin located throughout the body. Agnants have been evolving for years. Now, they were one of the more important of the early fishes. Two of the early, the early having fins, vertebrae, muscular, and grills. Many organs were armored with heavy bony spike plates. By the late Silurian period, the organisms have reached the high point of the evolution. Most of the attracted such as the telomeres, astrocans, and glepids, were more closely to the surviving agonists. No, explained for the others agonists before the evolution of the fins and bone. Agonists declined in the dopamine period and never recovered. There are two different types of organisms that are still alive today that fall under the Agnatha class. The Mixini, also known as the hagfish, is an eel-shaped slime-producing marine animal. They are the only known living creatures that have a skull but not a vertebral column. Hagfish are basal to vertebrates, and living hagfish remain similar to hagfish 300 million years ago. The classification of hagfish are controversial. The issue is whether the hagfish is itself a degenerate type of vertebrate fish. The other known alive agnatha fish is a Petromizontida, also known as the lamprey. Examples of Petromizontidas from early in their fossil records are Endelopus and Euphenerops, which are fish-like animals with hypocircal tails that lived during the late Devonian period. Some examples of extinct agnathans would be the Pteraspedomorphi, Thelodonti, Anaspida, and the Cephalospedomorphi. The Tera Speedomorphy was one of the earliest extinct group of jawless fish and their fossils showed shielding of the head. 
The Thelodonti had scales instead of large plates of armor. The next group to go extinct were the Anaspida. They're regarded as the ancestors of lampreys. And the Cephalospedomorphy is the last known extinct group. Like the other extinct groups, the Cephalospedomorphy also had armor shielding their head, gills, and anterior section of the innards.